Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna do another quick video on full self-driving in the latest Tesla. This is my Tesla Model S long range version, 2021, but it has all the latest hardware and now the latest software. This is version 12 of the software. So we need to make a quick trip to Home Depot. So we're gonna go ahead and punch in uh, Home Depot here. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do as far as our trip here. So we do wanna go to this one on Johnson Drive, which is only about 2.9 miles away. But one of the interesting things we'll look at is we're gonna go jump on the freeway, jump off the freeway and take a lot of the side roads. So those of you that may or may not know, um, with uh, full self-driving version 12, which again is the one we're looking at doing, we're gonna go ahead and really keen in on what are the, the core things they did in version 12. Mm -hmm. And one of the exciting things they actually did in version 12 is gonna be um, a lot more detail and understanding to the side roads, as well as um, making the ride a lot easier for humans that are involved. And what I mean by that is it does a lot more of slowing down to stops that are a little more gentle uh, for humans to uh, kind of be involved. Okay, we're gonna be taking a ride up here, but let me go ahead and engage. There we go. Whoops. Okay, let me go ahead and there we go. So now we're fully engaged with uh, full self-driving. Um, and you can see the line that's drawn here. It's gonna come out here, take a right. And then we're going to take a right on the main highway, which is highway 680 and then it will actually get off the highway um, and you can see what it's dealing with. Okay, so it's trying to go, there it goes. And now it is gonna need to slow down here. Um, now both of these lanes actually will turn right onto 680, but let's watch how the car goes. Again, version 12 is a lot more dialed in to understand how humans kind of drive more normally. So when they come out of turns, they will accelerate it. Um, when it slows down, it's gonna slow down a little more gentler. Uh, this is a lot of like when I was growing up and learning how to drive well before we had electric cars and well before we had autonomous driving, uh, a really, really good friend of mine that actually, he was a number of years older than me, but he actually taught me how to drive. He would taught me how to drive. He said, you, whenever you're driving with passengers in the car, drive it like you're driving a limousine. And what he meant by that is, for example, this is just one small thing he taught me, but when you come to a stop, slow down gradually. And right before you get to the stop, right when the car is about to actually stop, you actually let off the brake right as you're slowing down or the generator braking, you let off entirely. And then it comes to a very gentle pause. You can see the full self-driving is handling this really well. So a lot of version 12 is a lot more about the side roads, handling those, dealing with turnabouts, dealing with U-turns, if you allow U-turns in the state that you're in, which California does. Um, so it's a lot more about the side roads and driving gently for human beings, stopping, merging, um, doing all those different things that we do as uh, drivers in the car. So I'm just keeping, you can see, I keep my eye on the yoke here to make sure it's not gonna do anything it shouldn't do. It did, see the readout there, changing lanes. Um, sometimes because the road is too rough. Now we're gonna get off the highway here in a little bit. It's kind of a noisy highway here, but we will get off the highway here just in about 1.4 miles. And then we're gonna turn on to uh, Stone Ridge Drive. And then there's a little bit of a drive to actually get to the Home Depot here, you'll see. So it'll be a really good test to see how well the car does. So it chose the middle lane right now, which you can see the car is going slow on the right lane. They're going a bit faster. And on the left lane, of course, they're going faster. I don't think the car wants to get into the left lane because it already knows it's gonna get off the highway in 0.9 miles. So you will see a right blinker turn on here fairly soon. Uh, it's probably waiting for these other cars here uh, to uh, either move forward or move over. The 
car will adjust and get into the right lane. Uh, probably coming up here real, real soon in probably 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 miles, it's gonna try to get over and get ready. But you can see in the computer here, the car, it does see that car on the right. Now it did turn on the right signal. It's gonna merge over here real smooth, as you can tell with that version 12. And, uh, and it's gonna creep forward here and continue to address. Now, one of the things I want us all to pay attention to here is when we do um, exit, so you can see that it says choosing right fork to stay on route. Now watch, it's gonna exit on its own. I'm not doing anything, not interacting with the accelerator, the brake, or the yoke steering. So it's gonna gradually slow down as you can see, it's managing the turn just perfect. It's going to creep up here. You can see that the cones up there and going into the far right lane. Let's see how it creeps up to the red light. Will it turn on red automatically? We'll see here. Okay, it is going to creep up and the signal just turned green on its own. Perfect. Gosh, it did a great job with that. Did turn into the left lane right away. Okay, I really like that. Now let's see how it actually navigates us to the Home Depot. It does appear that it is gonna take a side road, hit a stop sign, and then get on the main road again. So let's see what it does. I'm gonna go in. Turn left onto lane. Okay, so it is gonna take a left coming up here and 0.1 miles, it's not this uh, traffic light. There it goes, it is gonna be a side road. Let's see how it handles this. So it is gonna, yeah, it does continue to slow down in a very natural way like a human would be driving the car, which again, the older versions of uh, full self-driving were much more jerky, you know, more immediate stops or immediate accelerations. And sometimes, uh, you know, it'd get you motion sickness uh, for anyone that's sensitive to uh, motion sickness. So version 12 is way smoother. Okay, handle that turn really nicely. And it's driving just through these side roads. You can see we're at a max of 35, but the car is creeping up to that speed, handling the turn nicely. And then um, we're gonna go through the next two traffic lights. Really, gosh, really doing a great job. And then we will be taking a left at the stop sign coming up here. But gosh, overall, it's doing really good, really smooth. And you know what's interesting is I haven't had to tell the steering wheel too often that I'm actually here in the car and reminding it, 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 it drives a lot more on its own now. And I don't know if that's because the camera can see me. Um, one thing that is interesting, I'm, I am wearing sunglasses, so the camera's not really seeing my eyes. Maybe it's seeing my arms as I'm talking here, so it understands that I'm paying attention, um, that I'm staying awake, and um, and uh, not falling asleep or doing anything uh, malicious with the uh, full self-driving. So uh, now this light will turn green and then you will see the car um, creep forward. The Home Depot is up here on the left. I'm actually curious, will it navigate me through the parking lot? I think many people know that most car accidents in the world happen in parking lots. Um, unfortunately, but uh, parking lots are actually pretty dangerous to drive through because you always have people doing uh, stupid little things when they're parking or they're driving through lanes when they shouldn't be. Um, so things like that. Okay, so it did start to accelerate, but a very natural pace again. I think um, trying to, uh, again, imitate more of how a human drives. Okay, that did ask me to touch the, the yoke to make sure um, that I am not asleep and I'm paying attention. Okay, so now it's creeping forward. Uh, this is gonna be just purely a stop sign. As you can see, the traffic light uh, is deactivated, if you can see that in the screen. So let's see if how the car handles that. Oh, oh, 
So it did creep forward as that pickup was going as well. I don't think that was accurate, so I would say that would be a mistake by version 12 full self-driving. It should have, once that pickup truck started going, it should have slowed down. Uh, but maybe we had the right of way. You know, put that in the comments of how you guys feel about it. Home Depot is here on our left. It is doing a pretty good job. I'm wondering, gosh, will it park itself? I don't know. Or is it just gonna go to the front door of Home Depot here? And then let's see how it handles this car here. I'm gonna be very careful here in a parking lot. Okay, it did go to the and left, the which I appreciate. I'll bet you it just creeps up to the end of this lane. Oh, is it gonna park? Or is it gonna to wanna to turn? Let's see what it does here. Okay, I think it's just reaching its destination. Let me see what it's actually gonna do here. It's kind of interesting. We're at the Home Depot, we're right in front of it sees these people and what is it doing it's got a mind of its own is it going to stop us right here yeah it says autopilot navigation complete so i'm going to go ahead and take over now just by putting my foot on the brake uh, pedal i can take over and uh, we're going to go ahead and park and go in here and get uh, what I'm trying to pick up. But overall, that was a great short version 12 video. Gave you guys another strong understanding of how well this works. I am gonna do another video here for you guys uh, to see this on my way back uh, to where I came so you guys can see how well that works. I might start that next video actually parked here and see if it pulls us out of the parking spot automatically and takes us directly back to that, that mic subs again. So anyways, let's try that here. Um, I will post that video right after this video, but uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have any questions about version 12, full self-driving, put that below. Give me a thumbs up, helps my algorithm. Really appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you next time. Take care everyone.